Hello everyone, welcome back to Genshin Impact. Alright, so today we are going to do uh, Act 2 of the Arcan Quest. Take a walk around the people of the springs. Um, I don't know if I can go there actually. Wait, do I have any... There's this, I guess I can go there and try to walk? Like, haven't we been to the People of the Springs area? I'm confused. Let's hope you watch this. No, you're gonna hope nothing because I am not staying. I'm not staying. We're just going to try to get there as fast as we can. But yeah, I have not really explored much. I have not really been playing Genshin as much. My Walking Moon ended. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't feel like a lot of motivation to actually like play the game a lot. I don't know if that happens to you guys, but like my motivation was like not losing the money that I spent on the welking. So I don't really feel the need to log in every single day when there is no welking moon. Which is not a bad thing to be honest, because like gacha burnout is very very real. We arrived here. Take a walk around the people of the springs. All right. Paimon feels like a whole new Paimon after those two days in the hot springs. The abyss kind of threw a wrench in our relaxation, though. Yeah, we already started the episode with Paimons. A good start. Still, spending time here really has felt like a vacation. I mean, it was sort of, right? The Koholosaurs are so nice and so fun to play with. Their bellies are super bouncy. <laughs> oh, and Akea's snacks were so delicious. She gave Paimon some for the road just this morning, actually. What was she up to? Yelling at some kids who got caught throwing stones in the hot springs. So, not much has changed since we first met her. I see. She, she's about to die, right? Hey, hey you guys. Sleep well last night? I did, kinda. Yep. This area is so nice. <laughs> Glad you like it. I was thinking of taking you guys out to do some sea fishing. Later tonight, we can eat whatever we catch. Fresh fish is absolutely delicious right off the grill. All right. Hey, Mualani. Trouble? Yeah? What do you need? The team sent out to fight in the Night Warden Wars has returned. And Kachina? Is she back as well? Kachina fell in battle. Oh. But don't worry. The team was victorious, so the Rite of Resurrection will be held in the stadium soon. So she died? Huh. That's a relief. The Abyss is cunning, and it was her first time. Mistakes are bound to happen. I mean, she's gonna be kicking herself a lot, though. Exactly. She deserves to hold her head up high. All right, thanks for letting me know. We'll head out in a bit. Damn, Kachina. Jeez, she sounded a little anxious there. Had me thinking it was bad news for a moment. Maybe they did not see Kachina or something. Mulani. You said the Abyss was cunning just now, but it seems like the Abyss just wants to destroy everything! My light are... my lights are not on the right place. Like, there think we go. about all those monsters that attacked your tribe. If there really was some sort of cunning plan, wouldn't it make more sense to send them to attack Kachina and her small team? No, because Kachina does not seem like a threat. Um, not that Paimon wants them to be in any more danger, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> Relax, I get it. The Abyss is difficult to understand, that's for sure. At a glance, it certainly seems like the only goal is total destruction. The Abyss isn't a living entity after all, so what capacity for logic or planning could it possibly possess? But right. through our long history of fighting the Abyss, we've realized things aren't quite so simple. 500 years ago, the Abyss invaded Tevat. You know about that, right? That's right. Conria suffered greatly during that time. But so did every other nation in Tevat. Yeah, but Conria got destroyed. And Natlan was the worst affected of all. Oh. It took the combined efforts of the then Pyro Archon and heroes from every tribe to finally repel the Abyss. So that's why they still have the ritual nowadays? Even so, the effects of the invasion lingered for hundreds of years, only able to be reversed little by little. Our tribe's waters were contaminated. The children of Echo's territory was overrun by dangerous sludge surging from underground. Unrelenting black winds tore across the lands of the Flower Feather Clan. 
It was like each disaster was designed for a specific tribe. Huh. That seems that seems kind of like the Hunger Games. <laughs> so the Abyss understood the foundation of each tribe? Exactly. We once thought that the Abyss's desire for destruction was a sort of primal instinct. But its methods are, in truth, marked by intelligence. We now believe the Abyss has invaded the Night Kingdom. And has the capacity to read the memories of this land at any given moment. Oh. And that's how it became so dangerous and cunning. Almost like it knows you inside and out. Yes. And that's why we've been unable to fully eradicate it. Even after all this time. It makes sense. Luckily, the problems left behind by the Abyss have been successfully addressed by the various Pyro Archons we've had over the years. Now every tribe is prospering and things are looking up. I mean, just look at what we managed to do a few days ago. We totally fought them off. In other nations, I've seen... I've seen how much effort it takes to truly eradicate the Abyss. The people of Natlin live in its shadow every day. Who knows how long it will take for this war to end. You must have had to sacrifice a lot to get to this point. Yeah. Every battle, every sacrifice is in pursuit of a future where we get to stop fighting. Responsibility. Duty. Unavoidable burden. Everyone in Natlan views the war differently. That's why it's the nation of war. But I believe we will be rid of the Abyss one day. And the efforts of all who fought against them will become a story for the ages. Let's hope so. To think that my name could survive in ballads passed down to future generations. It's kind of romantic. Everyone has something that drives them forward, you know. Mm, you can do it. We have to. Not only for ourselves, but for our future. Anyway, let's head to the stadium. Our fishing trip can wait until Kachina's back with us. Alrighty. He's not going anywhere. Black stone under a white stone. Chapter 5, Act 2. Okay, back to the station. Uh, um, I would love to get this eventually, but, you know. I don't think I'll be able to. Oh, I am resin capped. I need to fix that situation eventually. Like I said, your girl has not been playing the game that much. They're back. Oh, Kachina is there. She is alive. But she died for sure. Wait, no, Kachina Whoa, is not there. This place is packed already. It's Yonsan. Huh. Of course. No one's Wrong gonna miss Chibi. out on the chance to welcome our heroes back from battle. <laughs> it's their moment of glory. Kachina's gonna be so flustered. She's never had this many eyes on her before. Yeah, she doesn't seem like the kind of person who likes being the center of attention. Right. Looks Where is like Kachina? I'm just in time. Hey, Kinich. Kinich, you're here! Yeah, a commission ran longer than expected, but I made it. I heard about the incident with your tribe, Mualani. Is everyone all right? Yeah, it's all taken care of. Our new friend here has got some tricks up her sleeve, by the way. She's just as strong as Kachina made her out to be. Well, that being more, a bit more perceptive. Hey, look! Is it about to start? Here we go! That's right. Someone will come out and recite a eulogy, and then we'll sing the Ode of Resurrection together. Come on, let's find a spot with a good view. When the singing starts, just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Let's go somewhere higher up so Kachina can spot us. Did we get a high up spot? Warriors of Netlan, heed the call of life. We are the inheritors of memory and legend. Those who grew alongside sun and wind. Those who forged our own destiny and future. That is Netland's fire. The lifeblood of our nation. Ooh. Where is she going? Hello? What's happening? Are they gonna sing?
That's the the song that was playing in the orchestra, right? On the live stream. Traveler know how to sing. <laughs> Is anything supposed to happen there? I had to click, I guess. Hello, Mavuika. I don't know how to say her name properly. Mavuika. <laughs> I could not find Kachina within the Night Kingdom, or locate her ancient name. Oh. What? Uh, what does that even mean? Usually once the Ode is complete, the Pyro Archon and Resurrected Person will emerge from the flames. But something went wrong. Okay, then. What's going on? This has never happened before. Well, I think it's pretty obvious. Clearly, the team sent to fight the Abyss didn't win after all. Uh, why are you pointing fingers at you? We're not there. Think about it. The Ode rekindles all victors. We've witnessed it countless times. Since the Archon couldn't find Kachina in the Night Kingdom, that must mean there's more to this victory than meets the eye. Oh, no. Hey, you just haven't gotten over the fact that Kachina beat you in the pilgrimage. Pathetic. The both of you. Your wild guesses are misplaced. We completed our mission. Right. Maybe you did. But who's to say whether that little girl even contributed at all? Maybe she got scared and ran off. Don't do that. Why would the Wyab recognize someone like her, even if she was on the winning team? How dare you insult a hero of Natland like that? Kachina sacrificed herself to repel the Abyss. She doesn't deserve to be subjected to your vile rumors when she's not even here to defend herself. Calm down, Mulani. There's no point arguing with the likes of them. But are we gonna just let them run their mouths like that? I can't just sit here and let them slander her like that. That is right, Mulani. Beat their ass. To insult a hero of Natlan, the person actually has to be a hero. Well, unlike you, you sore loser. You ugly. You... You, I, w I would beat his ass with you, Mulan. Think about it, everyone. Who do you think is really at fault here? A girl who never should have even gone to war? That's your fault for even being born. Your. Or the great Pyro Archon. Why would the rules of our nation suddenly stop working? She looks mad. Does not look happy. Look at her. Look at her. She's mad right now. You are messing with the wrong person. That's true. If she wasn't revived, it must mean she failed to achieve victory. Maybe the Wyab interpret victory in different ways? I mean, that girl didn't look all that strong to me. Pyro Archon seems to be in deep thought. Deep in thought. Why isn't she putting a stop to the commotion? Kachina wouldn't have run! That's not like her at all! Mm -hmm. No! She's been waiting for this moment for too long. No matter how daunting the situation, no matter how scared she might feel, she's always the first person to stand up and face it head on. We don't even know what happened. So don't you dare try to use this as an excuse to vent your anger or slander her reputation. That is true. Fine. We'll find out what happens soon enough. Then, we'll see who truly deserves glory. Well, not you, because you lost. That's enough. Thank you. There is no doubt about today's victory. Or Kachina's part in it. She is a hero worthy of our admiration and celebration. However, the failure of today's ceremony is undeniable. Kachina has not been rekindled, and I offer you all my deepest apologies as I continue to investigate this matter. Did she lose her powers? To prevent further casualties, I have decided to suspend the pilgrimage until this matter is resolved. What? Well, now you're not gonna go. But if you went, I wish you stayed there. No one is all-knowing. No one is infallible, not even myself. But doubt is a means by which we seek the truth, not a weapon we wield against others. 
Well said, girl. I, 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 I didn't mean it that way, Archon. I just... You sure did. If there are things you wish to clarify, then ask me directly. Doubt my answer if you wish. But now's your chance. You have concerns? State them. Girl, destroy no, him? No, of, of course not. Even though I have said nothing to change your mind, then it would seem the truth never mattered to you at all. Whew. That guy doesn't even have the courage to answer the Pyro Archon's question. So much for all that glory talk earlier. I have a question, Archon. Ooh, Maleni sounds angry. My friend Kachina. Do you have any idea where she is? It's extremely important to me. I know you said you were investigating the situation, but I'm sorry, that's not enough. I've already shared everything I know. If you want to learn the truth and rescue your friends sooner, you should join the investigation. So, what do you say? Of course I'll join. In that case, come see me in the speaker's chamber. We should join them. Hmm. Oh, and if it's not too much trouble, could you drop by as well, Traveler? I'd like to have a chat. Oh. Rest assured, everyone, I'll keep the tribal chiefs informed on the progress of the investigation. I think we have not you know, interacted with her, so... Once again, I apologize for the outcome of this ceremony. If there are no further questions, let's part for now. Um, did she just ask us to come along? I mean, we have a reputation, so she probably knows who we are. I believe she did. Let's go. I'd like to know what's going on myself. Let's go. The situation is urgent, so I'll get straight to the point. Kachina is undoubtedly a hero of Natlan, and I'm deeply sorry this happened to her. There's been unrest in the Night Kingdom, but I don't know what's causing it. As a result, I've been unable to track down her location. Are we going to Night Kingdom? Until we find and address the cause of the unrest, the Ode of Resurrection will continue to be ineffective. Oof. And that means Kachina won't be able to come back? Not to like cut in the middle of like the conversation or anything but chaska just looks like she came straight out of like dress string press from roblox i just thought i had to say that i don't know that's correct not until the problem with the night kingdom is resolved how long will that take probably gonna take a while it's hard to say kachina always dreamed of fighting the abyss of doing her part to defend Natlan. Mm. She wasn't afraid of death because she knew if it came down to it, the Pyro Archon would be there to bring her back to life. Whenever we sat down together, exhausted from training, she would always hum the Ode of Resurrection. She was supposed to come back to us. We were supposed to hug her and celebrate with her and share her joy. We supported her every step of the way, but what are we supposed to do now? Sit peacefully and wait for her return? Lose ourselves in grief over her death? Tell me, are we her friends or her murderers? How would you be her murderer? Like, she went to fight the abyss. That's not fair, Lulani. That is very true. Like, that's not fair at all. It's all right. I understand your rage and your grief. Kachina's life means a great deal to me, Mualani. Believe me, I want to bring her back as soon as possible. I would give you that peace of mind if I could. But please, hear what I have to say so I can at least give you a broader picture of the issue we are now facing. Considering the recent attack on your tribe, I believe the Abyss has found a new means of undermining the rules of our nation. That would make a lot of sense, actually. You mean... The Sacred Flame. The foundation of our resistance against the Abyss. Huh. If we continue to hold the pilgrimage and send teams to fight the Abyss, there will likely be more casualties. But if we stop altogether, the Sacred Flame will only grow weaker. The Abyss will scale up their attacks, and the tragedy we saw with the people of the Springs will only be the first of many. Right. If we compare the two choices, the former seems to be the lesser of two evils. Sorry, I know that may sound harsh, but I bear the name Malipo. Weighing the costs is my duty. The raw truth can be cruel. 
but we need to understand it if we want to approach this rationally. So you want to keep sending people to the pilgrimage despite not being able to bring them back? But what would you say, Mulani? This is personal for you. And unlike Kanich, I dare say it's not a simple case of weighing up which course of action is less painful, is it? No. I can't choose between them, and I don't want to. Saying that one is preferable over the other is disrespectful to the people who suffered. Hmm. You're saying it doesn't matter whether I suspend the pilgrimage. The consequences will be equally painful. Yes. What happened to Kachina breaks my heart. But I couldn't bring myself to sacrifice other people for her sake. And that is the crux of the problem. It's not simply a matter of choosing the lesser of two evils. She's right. Either way, there will be people who suffer. And the end result will be the same. Belief in the pilgrimage will waver. Once doubt has crept in, the people will no longer unite in battle against the Abyss. And that is exactly what the Abyss wants. So we should probably continue with the pilgrimage. Their ultimate goal isn't to break the rules that make the Ode of Resurrection work. It's to destroy the people's faith in them. Yeah. To prevent what happened to Kachina from happening to anyone else, we need to suspend the pilgrimage. So that is my current plan. And in the meantime, I've made efforts to strengthen each tribe's defenses. Then, we have to find another way of strengthening the sacred flame to keep the abyss at bay. This won't be easy. I'll need time to figure out the best approach. Right. I understand your anger, Mualani, but I hope that provided some clarity, at least. Wow, Paimon thought things were gonna get heated for a second, but the Pyro Archon took the time to explain everything so patiently. I owe you an apology, Archon. I let myself get carried away earlier, and I'm sorry. You're right. We need to focus on finding solutions. We could always hold the pilgrimage without sending a team to fight in the Night Warden Wars. That way, we would still be able to fuel the Sacred Flame. I've considered that, but the two events have nearly always been linked. Yeah, because we probably have to fight the Abyss to continue like the Fire God. Without the chance to fight the Abyss, pilgrimage rankings lose their prestige and competitor numbers will drop. Yeah. With fewer participants, the amount of contending fire produced will decrease and the vicious cycle will continue indefinitely. So, essentially, the Abyss has taken Kachina hostage. What happens if you stay in the Night Kingdom for a long period of time? You've learned about the concept of ley lines during your travels, yes? The Night Kingdom is something similar. Staying there for a short period of time shouldn't have an effect on the person. But with the Abyss in the picture, it's a different story. Your sense of self will be devoured until eventually you become one with the Sea of Souls. Imagine pouring a cup of water into a rushing river. You can try to scoop up another cup, but there's no chance it will be the same water you had before. That's true. I won't sugarcoat it. That is the danger Kachina is currently facing. Just like you said, Archon. She really said I won't Both sugarcoat it. these problems need to be addressed. You can focus all your efforts on dealing with the Sacred Flame. I will go search for Kachina. The Abyss poses the same threat to you as it does to her. It is very possible you will not return. Knowing that, do you still choose to go? I think she will. Kachina's waiting for us to rescue her. That's all that matters. I failed to protect her during our campaign. But I can make it up to her now. I choose to go as well. Alright. Um, Traveler? What do you think? This is not how it should end for her. I promise she would have the chance to learn from me. Understood. Then I'll support you in any way I can. So Kinich is not going? The Masters of the Nightwind have a technique that can extract an ancient name from the ley lines. If we can find Kachina's ancient name, I can use the link between them to pinpoint her position within the Night Kingdom. And then we are gonna go there? Then comes the hard part. You need to visit the Night Kingdom in person and rescue her. Oh, that's rough. But isn't the Night Kingdom a land of souls? Can we even go there? I guess we probably can. Under normal circumstances, only the consciousness can enter. But there is a way to go there in person. Right. However, 
Know that the Night Kingdom will attempt to repel you, and the Abyss certainly won't leave you be. That's fine by me. Same here. Fighting the Abyss is nothing new for me. It won't be a problem. So, uh, Paimon's the only one who's scared? <laughs> well, if you're going, Traveler, Paimon's going too. Maybe you should say... Seat Lolly of the Masters of the Nightwind once created an artifact that can be used to communicate with the Wyab. We call it the Spirit Speaker Stone. It was originally used as a ceremonial artifact wielded by the tribal chiefs, but that spiritual quality also means it can be used to search for an ancient name. Okay. That was the artifact I delivered to the Scions of the Canopy a few days ago. Didn't think I'd be hearing about it again so soon. Thank you so much for your help, everyone. Your thanks are unnecessary. I will offer you whatever aid I can, but your fellowship and courage are what will truly decide the success of this operation. <laughs> Besides, you're the ones helping me. I can only focus on one thing at a time, after all. <sighs> Traveler, I certainly didn't expect our first conversation to be so serious. I didn't expect to be talking to you at all so early. I heard all about your accomplishments. Ever since you arrived, I've been hoping to meet you and offer you Natlin's highest level of hospitality. Oh, that's sweet of her. Um, why? Why? Is that not what happened in the other nations you visited? Um, it's kind of complicated. <laughs> yeah, things were pretty complicated at the start. And, you know, in the middle. But our <laughs> reputation's solid nowadays. Yeah, people were not very happy to see us all the time. We even almost got killed by an Archon at some point. <laughs> That's more like it. After all, I've heard you're someone who transcends fate. You know quite a lot about me. Perhaps even more than you can imagine. But we can talk about that some other time. Ideally, this would be the perfect night for a drink and some musical ambiance. But there are important things to be done. All right. Oh, I almost forgot. Atea was wounded in the fight against the Abyss. She wanted us to give this to you. It embodies fond memories and my strength of will. That's what she asked us to tell you. She said you'd know what that means. <sighs> she does. I didn't think this day would come so soon. The flames of her life force... I can feel them flowing within the talisman. <laughs> if things were different, the two of us could have enjoyed the hot springs together while she gave this to me in person. We're supposed to be hot spring buddies after all. What does that mean? But don't worry. This talisman means a great deal to me. I'll take good care of it. And once this is all over, I'll pay Atea a visit. Oh, all right. So there are friends after all. You said you didn't want to jeopardize the production of Contending Fire. But that's not at all why you decided to suspend the pilgrimage, is it? Huh. You're right. Even now, the production of Contending Fire is far from sufficient. The gradual corrosion caused by the Abyss has resulted in a massive shortage of pyro energy. And we're currently at the breaking point. Why was she hiding that from us, but not from Kinich? As things stand, the pilgrimage is a lost oh. cause. Suspending it allows us to save our strength to defend the tribes. The Abyss has brought catastrophe to Natlan. And Kachina's disappearance in the Night Kingdom is a direct consequence of that. We can't let the general public know that. Yeah, that would be really bad. No. If the public learned that Natland's destruction was close at hand, there would be immense panic. Yep. We went through that with Fontaine. But if I said nothing at all, they would have continued to question the integrity of Natland's heroes. Another simple choice. The latter was clearly the better solution. But you chose otherwise. I have never subscribed to the belief that the right choice is the one with the fewest sacrifices. Hmm. Let's go. There's still a way for the sacred flame to last a little longer. Oh my god. Mean... Yes. Come with me. What what does she mean? Yansan, what do you know?
The sacred flame must never go out. Not only does it strike fear in the abyss, but it's also the pillar of Natland's stability. So until our heroes are ready, I will sacrifice my power to keep it burning. But that can only last so long. I think we should focus on the remaining ancient name bearers. Don't let desperation cloud your judgment. But... <sighs> Those chosen by the Wyab have already embarked on their destined path. It is for them to decide how that journey ends, not us. All we can do is support them. Even so, for you to make this sacrifice, it's not right. Yeah, she's gonna lose her power if she does it too much. <laughs> if not me, then who? No other is capable of sustaining the sacred flame. I possess great strength, but I'm not above my people. This is part of my duty. Hmm. Archon, it's the Fatui! Oh! What are they doing inside here? The oh. Archon of Natland. Here comes A the man! To be reckoned with. Capitano. The secret of the ley lines <sighs> is no secret to me. Long have they been destined for ruin. <laughs> And since the oath made five centuries Whoa, ago girl. remains unfulfilled, what use is the gnosis in your hands? I need him to be playable. I don't know what you mean. If he but is not, I'm gonna like be mad. about more than the Tsaritsa. Oh, she looks so in cool. In times of crisis, someone must pick up the mantle of salvation. Your plan has reached an impasse, and now it falls to me to create new rules for Natland. But before I'm conflicted. the dawn of a new age, <laughs> the old must be destroyed. Who do I root for in here? I'm conflicted. It's Capitano. Look at him. I assume that's the end of your speech. But to also, she's fierce. People like us. Let our blades do the talking. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. <laughs> I swear, I'm gonna be so mad if he's not playable because Arlequino is playable. Okay. So if he is not. She's insane for this. Oh my god. Yeah. The budget on this cutscene <laughs> insane. Is nobody seeing that they are like fighting? Oh, is that a little glimpse of how her attacks will be in the game? How the heck he can do all that? So it was a tie. I see, I see. Both of them are very strong. Masters of the night wind. Send word. The captain and his followers must be apprehended. That was kind of crazy. Are 
Are you all right, Archon? He was a formidable opponent. Exactly what I would expect from the first of the Fatui Harbingers. Yeah. I never imagined someone could match you in combat. If the Tsaritsa sent him here, why would he bring up what happened five centuries ago? Yeah. And how much does he know about Natlan? Maybe more than we we think. The Harbingers are all driven by their own personal goals. The only purpose that unites them is collecting the Gnosis. That's true. But I'm sure the captain has his own reasons for being here as well. Whatever his motive, we should shift our focus to the Fatui. If they attack again and we're not prepared, we're done for. No, we're running out of time. The wound I inflicted should hold him back and weaken him for the time being. Besides, I'm sure you noticed. The power that came to his rescue just now came from the masters of the Nightwind. In other words, there are traitors among us. Interesting. Not necessarily. This could prove to be a very valuable turn of events. Maybe he is from the... Nightwinds. When we exchanged final blows, I sensed an unusual presence within him. I'll need to investigate further. Like Arlecchino was from Fontaine, Capitano could be from Nala. Kanich, go to the Masters of the Nightwind and look into who could have aided the captain. Speak to Sit Lali. She should know. Sit Lali? Is that her, how you say her name? Sit Lali. Of course. I'll head out right now. That's cute. Do you still intend to... Yes. But fear not. Damn, she Nathan's fast. Nathan's strength has never rested solely in its Archon. Together we foresaw the only path that leads to our nation's future. We must trust in that vision now. Ooh. Is everything okay, Archon? Why is the image like that? Ah, uh, completely fine. Just lamenting the fact that I never got a picture when I could still turn my hair into flames. Ah, <laughs> uh, too late now. I just hope the others have a safe journey. Why is it like blurry? What is happening? Is the game continue being blurry? Like, was that intentional? I'm confused. It does not seem to be blurry now. What was that? What's happening at the stadium? Did something explode? Oh, so we could hear them fighting in it there. It feels like the Archon unleashed her power. She must be fighting a formidable opponent. Should we go back and check what's going on? Pachina does not have that much time. Have faith in the Archon. She wouldn't lose in a one-on-one -on -one confrontation. Once we find Kachina's ancient name, we'll head right back. Okay, let's just keep climbing. Paimon really hopes nothing goes wrong. Let's go. I mean, things will most likely go wrong. Oh, I am almost AR-60. Wow. It's cool. Maybe we get to it today. You guys are gonna witness my power as an AR-60 player. What can you tell us about the science of the canopy? The tribe's people are very adventurous. Oh, kinda like us then. <laughs> Is it Kinichs? I'm not so sure. You don't strike me as the type to enjoy danger. Maybe. The science of the canopy are a bunch of thrill seekers. They love extreme sports like rock climbing, propelling, volcano parkour. Huh, volcano or parkour? jump in without a rope while a Yunkasaur stands at the edge and uses its tongue to catch them. <laughs> Sound like something you'd be interested in? Actually, yes. Okay, that... Oops. Oh. Paimon's not doing any of that. She can just cheer you on from the sidelines. Well, um, uh, sorry about that. I cut that off. Ah, they are so cute. The music is too cheerful for That's the occasion. Quite, the tribal chief. Let's head over to him. Okay.
Let me just grab my dailies. Thank you very much. Jaska. Nice to see you again, Wyna. I'm afraid we don't have time for pleasantries, so I'll get right to it. We're here for the Spirit Speaker Stone. Whoa, hold on a second. At least tell me why you need it first. The Archon asked this. My friend Kachina is trapped within the Night Kingdom. We need the stone to find her ancient name and rescue her. Rescue her? From the Night Kingdom? Yes, we're going. That's right. I'm sorry, but someone needs to tell you what you don't want to hear. Going there, a mature warrior would never make such a foolish decision. Excuse me. The nature of battle is unpredictable. You never know how it's going to end. Losing a friend is tragic, but when that happens, the best thing you can do is focus on how to prevent further casualties. I appreciate what you're trying to say, Chief Wyna. But if the price of maturity is abandoning a friend in need, I'll choose foolishness any day. If Kachina's still holding on, then so will I. I thought you might say that. Hmm. <sighs> is something wrong, Wyna? This doesn't seem like you. Life isn't complete without taking risks. That's always been your mantra. <laughs> it's nothing. The Night Kingdom is a dangerous place. Can't blame me for checking if you were up to the task. If you're that determined, far be it from me to stop you. Here's the stone. Keep it safe, okay? It's not like we have a spare. Were we not going to talk to the other girl? Thank you. Seems like you two go way back. But aren't you from the Flower Feather Clan, Chaska? Oh, Chaska's a peacekeeper. So she's famous throughout the tribes. She's always the one people call to resolve conflicts. So we slowly got to know each other that way. Her younger sister, Queechee's always hanging around our tribe, too. She's helped us out a lot in the past. Oh, oh you have a younger sister? Yes, I'll introduce you to her sometime. <laughs> but let's get back to business. Why not? How do we use the stone? As you probably know, your intended destination is completely different from the real world. The Night Kingdom is like a river flowing with concepts. And the ancient name you seek is like a tiny fish swimming downstream. That's kind of like the same a a a analogy that the Archons use. In that sense, the stone is like a fishing boat drifting down the river. But the boat alone isn't enough. You need a fisherman, experienced enough to steer it in the right direction. We couldn't do that ourselves? <laughs> With a little practice, I'm sure you could. You have the strength and the talent. If you want to make sure this works, though, I could recommend someone to you. Who? Who? Oh. Bichama, a legendary warrior and scout from our tribe. He's got a keen eye and a well-honed intuition. Even his ancient name means to seek. If you're fishing for a name, you're gonna want him on the boat. Oh, hey, we're going after him. Why does that name sound familiar? He's one of Auntie Atea's hot spring buddies. Uh -huh. I've heard stories about him. Where can we find him? Ever since Malco passed, he spends most of his time gazing out at the scenery from the clifftops. Follow the path that way, and I'm sure you'll find him. Let's Thank go. You. We'll go look for him there. We don't have time to waste. <sighs> Good luck. I hope everything goes well. Bye, sir. Thank you for your help. Okay, um, there is... What was it? Is that Vicham? <laughs> this is Pacha. Vichama? Oh, that's Vichama. Oh, uh, the little alpaca, so cute. Someone admiring the scenery from the cliff tops. Ah, that must be him! <laughs> Hello there, are you Vichama? That's me. Did you need something? Damn, that's not the voice that I expected to hear. Tell him about Kachina and the spirit speaker stone. What? You're saying you can bring someone back from the Night Kingdom? How is that even possible? Uh-oh, he's probably gonna want to bring his friend back. No, if you really think about it, anything's possible in that kind of place. Yep. But that would mean... Are you okay? You don't look so good. Maybe his friend... 
fell into battle but was not a victory and then he could not be brought back because he didn't win so he was gonna try to bring him back and then it's gonna be a mess mm -hmm. yep that's everything's the plan. fine i'll help you but i do have a small request what is it after i help you find kachina's ancient name i want to use the stone to look for my friends as well i knew it your friend Oh, why not mention someone named Malco? Is that who you're talking about? Yes, but I'd rather not get into it if it's all the same to you. That's not a problem. We agree to your request. Yeah. Since you're helping us find Kachina's ancient name, it's only right that we return but the favor. The Pyro Archon said that the more time the person sta stays in the Night Kingdom, the worse it is to rescue them. So it's just like maybe they are not even the same person anymore. Then we're agreed. Can I have a look at the stone? Do you know how it works? Huh. I see. From what I can tell, it functions almost like an abyssal pylon. Both connect the Night Kingdom to the living world. Once the connection is established, the abyss will come surging through the opening like a predator honing in on the scent of blood. So we have to be sure not to use it in a tribal settlement. Right. Wow, you got all that just from looking at it? I just picked up on the basics, really. <laughs> I still have no idea why it works. You said someone named Sit Lali invented this. They must be a genius. I'll go find an open area and start setting things up. In the meantime... I need you to get two things for me. What is it? We'll go right away. What do you need? First, I'll need some hook ropes. Pretty much every store around here carries them, so no need to go anywhere special. Oh, and I need to build a net out of them, so make sure you get a good amount. Okay. Wait, are you saying you're going to use a real net to catch Kachina's ancient name? How does that work when one's tangible and one's not? By creating something tangible in our world, like a net, we can create a connection to a corresponding concept in the Night Kingdom. Basically, I'm going to use the concept of a net to catch something equally intangible. An ancient name. Huh. Oh, I see. What about the second thing you needed? Right. I need one... No, two chunks of obsidian. Once we bring the ancient names into our world, we'll need a place to store them. Okay. Normally, you can only get obsidian from the Children of Echoes. But I heard there's a traveling merchant from that tribe around here somewhere, so maybe you can try your luck there. Gotcha! All right, let's split up. See that clearing? Let's meet over there when you're done. Oh, and you can send someone with me if you want. In case you're worried, I might take the stone for myself. <laughs> what do you think, Chaska? Better Chaska go. <laughs> there's no need. Lena spoke highly of you. That means you're trustworthy. Mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> I appreciate it. Even though that doesn't mean much to me anymore. Anyway, it'll take some time to set everything up, so no need to rush. Is there somebody, you, you know, listening to what we're doing? Or is it just like weird camera angle? What an odd guy. <laughs> he seems so defeated, but also really invested in the stone at the same time. I mean, his friend died. I don't have any more insight than you, Paimon. Let's just focus on the preparations for now. Hang on, Kachina. We're coming for you. He's probably also grieving. Right, so now we are going to do errands. Whee! My favorite part of the quest. Fetch quest! Do you have it? Hello. Do you have any hook ropes for sale? Hook ropes? As in rock climbing equipment? Yes. How much for your whole stock? <laughs> oh, the whole thing? Oh, let me see. That would be 30,000 mora in total. Deal? That's a lot of mora. Deal. Huh. Wait. Really? She's just gonna give it like that. What? You want me to drive down the price? We just need these as fast as possible. Thanks. Oh, uh, no problem at all. I'll even pass along some information on the house. These ropes are usually used by rock climbing enthusiasts. Uh, if you want to learn, Roke is the person you want to ask. No, oh, thank you. All right. Just... That's it everything. Go. Here you go. Bye. Now we need the obsidian. Let's go talk to the traveling merchant Bichama mentioned. 
wow, he is just by the side of the tent. That is very nice. Uh, I have like a lot of daily stuff. Not a lot, but anyway. <laughs> oh, wrong button. <laughs> Excuse me, do you sell obsidian? Why, yes. <laughs> I've got a chunk for sale right over there. So you just got one? Perfect. Is that the only one, though? We actually need two. Hmm. That might be tough. Uh, tell you what. I'll take a look through these boxes over here and, and we'll see what we can find. Oh, maybe the guy. Like, if we only have one, maybe the guy will not try to help us. Thank you so much. We'll wait here. Huh. <sighs> Relax. Everything's going according to plan. Kind of. I know, it's just... I could tell Vichama feels the same way about his friend that I do about Kachina. I hope this chunk of obsidian isn't the only one. Kachina always carries all sorts of shiny stones with her. If I was the one trapped in the Night Kingdom, she'd have a whole pile of obsidian <laughs> ready in a heartbeat. But that's her thing, you know? That's not your thing. Well, would you look at that? I did bring an extra. <laughs> Here you go, young lady. How does it look? Right, so they have to. Perfect. Thank you. How much do I owe you? If you hadn't shown up, these stones would have just sat here collecting dust. I'll take 3,000 more of for both. Really? Here you go. By the way, I heard you mention Vichama just now. You run in an errand for him then? How's he doing? Melko's oh. been gone for five years now. It's about time he started to move forward. Oh, that's not good. It's Do you know what happened between them? Five years is like a lot of time. He's not gonna find the person anymore like that. I heard about it in passing while I was out drinking one night. But I don't know all the details. Michama and Melko grew up together. And even made a name for themselves They together. weren't dating. That's just my opinion. But, you know... Melko was an amazing fighter, capable of knocking out multiple opponents in a single hit, while Vichama excelled at scouting and analyzing the battlefield. The two made an excellent team and managed to beat back the Abyss several times. Five years ago, they both emerged triumphant in the pilgrimage and were placed on the same team to fight the Abyss. Mm. But on the eve of battle... The Abyss launched an attack on their tribe, and Vichama suffered an injury to his leg while attempting to rescue... Then what happened? Oh. Oops. The team agreed that he couldn't fight the Abyss in his condition. So they sent him back. Vichama didn't argue. He knew going to the front lines with an injured leg would make him a burden in battle. So they raised the issue with the Pyro Archon, and she agreed to let him stay behind. It's just... Melko and the others ended up facing hordes of abyssal mm. monsters in numbers that far exceeded anyone's expectations. The team made an error in judgment, and they fell to the onslaught. So I was right. Vichama went into a deep depression after that. He blames himself for everything. It does not sound like it was his fault. Oh, you're not wrong. But it's possible he chooses to blame himself. Not because he did something wrong, but because he wasn't able to do anything at all. I've tried convincing him to move forward, to stop uh, dwelling on the past. But the shadow of Melko's death hangs over him still. The abyss has caused so much suffering, and some wounds never heal. I wish there was something he could do to make himself feel better. But there might be, <sighs> but since he has been in there for five years, I think like he's like, are, are we like forgetting the conversation that we had with the Pirate Archon? Because like nobody's raising that point at all. Anyway, that's the gist of it. Maybe you could help him talk things through sometime. I would really appreciate it. Okay, then. Well, I, I don't know. We should probably raise that up. Hello. Cute. This is gonna become a Yunkasaurus. Can we jump from here? Uh, where in the map is it? You can just go walk in, seeing the sights. The f 
feather. Thank you very much. Whee! Oh, item. Thank you. Picking that up. Uh, apparently, there is like a oculi somewhere. Probably up there. If, uh, maybe we can actually wait. We can just like go up there. Can we walk on the wall? Oh, can actually like. Ah. Oh, hello, friend. Is there any up there? No! No, no, no! Ah! I don't know where I'm falling! Oh! There we go! We did that. <laughs> that was scary. Oh, why did I need to gather berries? Does the event? I have not really done the event. Ah, uh, it's over there. Okay, so <gasps> I fall. Oh, little Yunkasaur. Nice. Ooh. We lost a little bit of health. There you go. Need to heal our little friend. It's an enemy, Yunkasar. Don't be mean. Okay, I don't know where we're going. Are we like going up? I guess so. Been a few days since I recorded anything, so my eyes are kind of like. Not doing very well with the lights. <laughs> I need to finish the event, because, like, I started it. Oh, I can't do that. I have to do this like that. I need to try to finish the event, because it's almost. ending. And I haven't even, like, started yet. <laughs> it's procrastinating a lot. <laughs> we're, like, we're almost there, we're almost there. Okay, we're not doing that. We're actually, like, making a video... ...to explore the area. In, in like, a few days. <laughs> So I'm gonna make like a Natlin exploration video for you guys. Hopefully it's going to be fun to watch. It's gonna be pretty chill. No comment no 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 commentary. Commentary, no face scan video. But it there will be voice voiceover. <laughs> Alright, we arrived. Did you get everything? With it. Yep, it's all here. When do we start? I've made all the necessary adjustments, so we're good to go. As agreed, I'll help you find Kachina's ancient name, and then you return the favor. Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Are you seeking your friend's ancient name for the same reason as us? Uh, but it yes. has been five years. After Malco fell, I scoured the battlefield to see what happened. 
It turned out he wasn't bested by some impossibly powerful foe. He was dragged to his grave by the sheer number of enemies. If I had been there, I would have been able to sense the danger. I could have warned them not to advance. I've always blamed myself for what happened. But when you told me about mm. Kachina, I realized there's a chance Malco might also be alive, fighting for survival in the Night Kingdom. I feel like this is not gonna end well. But that happened several years ago, right? Yeah, why is Paimon being the voice of reason in here? The Pyro Archon said all life within the Night Kingdom eventually becomes one with the Sea of Souls. Right, she's the only one, like, raising a good point. There might not be much hope, but I still have to try. Malco and I promised each other, even if we never managed to root out the Abyss for good, we would fight together until the end. All right, let's get to it. I'll start searching for the conceptualized version of Kachina's ancient name. If you see any fragments scattered around the area, please collect them. Okay. Make sure you prepare yourselves for battle. Oh boy. As I said, the stone will link the mortal realm to the Night Kingdom. The Abyss will likely emerge in response. We're ready. Have Nivellet, so there's absolutely nothing thing. to fear. It must be one of those fragments Vichama mentioned. Let's get closer. We're getting it. So far, the abyss is not coming to play. Oh, but it's just a Yunkasaur. Shower me with threat. Silence. Actually, very sad that we have to fight the Yunkasaur. I don't know why. Be sanctified. Mind the side effects. Don't like that idea at all. Seems like an emergency. Before you know, do your thing. How much longer, Bichama? Not long. We're getting close. More fragments. Ooh, almost there, almost there. There's gonna be more fight though. <laughs> we do it. Okay, we did it. Bro, why are you screaming? Quick, take it. Did we find it? I found Kachina's ancient name. Hang in there, Malco. Just a little longer. Something's not right. The power of the abyss is getting stronger. Because probably Malco has been too long there. Oh, Jesus. The abyss is corroding his body. Vichama, you can't keep going. You'll die. I should have died five years ago. No, dude. I just need a little more time. Please, I'm almost there. Oh, God. I'll help you by some time. Thank you. Do I have to, like, keep... Um, no, not the button mashing. Whoa, watch out. The power of the abyss is strong. Ah! <sighs> That's not very good for my wrist. This power is the power of the abyss. It's out of this world. Hanging in there? I can't hold them back much longer. Malco. No, why can't I find him? Why? Ichama, he has been gone for too long. We can't wait any longer. Pull him away from the stone, Muolani. I already tried. But the power of the abyss has him in a chokehold. It's like he's tied to the stone with an invisible rope. Oh no. In that case, we have no choice. I'm sorry, Seat Molly. No! Get back. You're gonna break the thing! Chaka, wait! No! Oh god, girl, no. Ouch! What happened just now? It looked like the spirit speaker stone was. The stone's power was spiraling out of control. The only way to stop it was to destroy it. We were all caught in the shockwave of the explosion. You might feel dizzy for a while, but 
That's normal. What about Vichama? Is he okay? Give us a heads up next time, will you? You're lucky we managed to dodge it in time. Yep. I thought I said to get back. I mean, she did. But yeah, barely a second before you made it go poof. <laughs> Not everyone has your reflexes, Chaska. We were this close to getting dragged into the explosion. But what about Vichama, okay. dude? I'll be more careful next time. At least Kachina's ancient name is still in one piece. Wait, where's Vichama? Vichama! Uh, uh. Vichama! Yeah. I couldn't find Nako's ancient name. It must be completely gone by now. Once your ancient name disappears, there's no coming back. From the very beginning, I knew there was a slim chance, but still. That's your closure, dude. And now... <sighs> it's too late to save him. From the minute he left that day, it was already too late. Vichama. Hey, I'm sure he's heard enough condolences over the years. Let's just give him some space. Huh? What's that in your hands, Vichama? It looks like something's glowing. Huh? This is... Is this his name? Huh? What's happening? Hey, Melko. Got any strength left? Are those the people that were in fighting with them? Not enough to swing a sword. To say a few last words, sure. <laughs> Too bad no one will get to hear them. I never thought I'd actually die on this mission. <laughs> Not that I'm afraid to die. It's just hard thinking about my mom's face when she hears the news. Guess I have something to be thankful for then. My parents died a long time ago have to mourn me oh <sighs> what about oh gone Pisak. <sighs> always had to beat me at everything didn't you right to the end you were never one for goodbyes maybe you're right <sighs> maybe no one will get to hear our last words but just in case Pichama, I'm so glad you didn't come with us. Don't be sad. Just keep on living for the both of us. Oof. <sighs> oh, that's so sad. Was that a memory? Yeah. Seems like we were able to salvage something after all. Feeling any better, Vichama? That's not what we should be asking right now, but... Of you course. Be... Seeing him, hearing his voice again, it makes me unbelievably happy. But... It also brings with it an even deeper pain. Yeah. A deeper pain? Why? Because he has not been leaving. <laughs> Malko was always the type to put on a brave face. But in that memory just now, his hands were shaking, and his smile was forced. Yeah, you're right. For all these years, I regretted not being able to fight alongside him to the end. And now I know, at the end of his life, he was thinking the same thing. Vichama! I'm fine. Actually... I heard Chief Wina wasn't really on board with your plan to go to the Night Kingdom. When you asked for my help, I hesitated too. I knew helping you find your friend's ancient name meant leading you one step closer to danger. But you wanted to take your chances for Malko. But I also understood why you had to try. Everyone has regrets in life, but not everyone gets the chance to make up for them. Yeah. Once allowed to fester, guilt strips us of our most valuable qualities as warriors. In that sense, we might as well choose the braver path from the very beginning. A more courageous way? If I could do it all over again, I would have followed Malko to the front lines no matter what. Even with an injured leg, there were still things I could have done. That way, even if the outcome stayed the same, I still would have fought alongside him to the end. He wanted you to leave, dude. There are critical junctures in life. 
And if you don't seize the chance to act, there's no going back. That's something I had to learn in hindsight. But you're still at the crossroads of your journey, so... I hope you can walk away without regrets. Thank you, Vichama. I feel even more determined now. Kachina will come back to us. I'll make sure of it. I promised I would find her, and I intend to keep that promise. That's good to hear. <coughs> Strange. <clears throat> My body, it's... He got corrupted Once by the abyss. corrosion enters the body, yeah. a portion will fuse itself to your internal organs. Even though the Traveler possesses powers of purification, the corrosion can never be fully eradicated. Yeah, just... Thanks to her, though, you are only briefly exposed. Slowing your breathing and controlling your emotions should help you keep the symptoms in check. Yeah. Well, he's not in danger, then. Well, that does make me feel better. You seem very knowledgeable about all this. For some odd reason. Just speaking from experience, that's all. Oh, did she get corroded? Anyway, we've recovered Kachina's ancient name, so we're off to a great start. Let's get Vichama back to his tribe and tell Wine of the good news. Oh, um, and apologize <laughs> for destroying the spirit speaker stone. We had no choice, though, so he'll probably understand. We should take the pieces mm, back. Right? Maybe <laughs> Sitlali can fix it? Well, it's a lot to take. Mm. Oh, that's her sister? <sighs> Koichi, are you really going to just stand there like that? I don't know what you want from me. I think you know exactly She's so what I'm cute, to though. Say, Hawaiina. I can hear it in your voice. Wow, her outfit is, like, so cute. Honestly, it's just one thing after another with you two. Huh. They're back. Koichi? What are you doing here? <laughs> Don't play dumb with your own sister. You know exactly I'm why I'm shocked. Here. Her outfit is actually really cute. My apologies, everyone. I just need to borrow Tasca for a few minutes. You come with me. <laughs> uh oh, she's gonna be scolded by her sister. <sighs> I'll be oh. just a moment. All right, girl, go there. My controller's gonna die. Who is that? Uh, yeah, that's her sister. We talked about it, I guess. Kuichi, Chaska's younger sister. Although the two aren't actually related by blood, oh. it's kind of a long story. Right, she did call herself Chaska's sister just now, but it feels like there's more to the story. I mean, he just said exactly that. It's not really my story to Excuse tell, me? but I guess it's not a secret. You see, Chaska was actually raised by cuckoo sores. Well, huh? How? She was afflicted with a rare disease when she was a child, and abandoned in the wild as a result. The Abyss found her out there, all on her own, and tried to devour her. But in the end, all that did was trigger her will to live. That strength of will pushed her to survive. But it also planted a seed of conflict within her. Eventually, she was adopted by the Cuckoo Source. Wherever they went, she followed getting into fights right and left. <laughs> For some reason, Paimon can totally imagine that. Right. <laughs> well, when Chaska finally returned to human society, it was Kuichi's parents who adopted her. At the time, Chaska still had a habit of getting into fights, so Kuichi was always taking her around, apologizing to everyone. Ah, I remember those days. One of those fights was definitely with me. <laughs> but, you know, kids... You're fighting one minute and your friend's the next. Eventually, she found a way to rein in that desire to fight. And now she's who people call to resolve conflicts. She's known as the Peacemaker. Interesting turnaround. It sounds like she still argues with Koichi, though. Don't siblings usually stop fighting when they get older? Girl, no. Trust me, I talk from experience. It does not stop. <sighs> That's partly my fault. Kuichi asked me to stop Chaska from doing anything dangerous, but you probably know by now, once Chaska makes up her mind, there's no changing it. Oh, I get it. No wonder you tried to talk us out of going to the Night Kingdom. 
Shasuke even said that wasn't like you. Yeah, it was all because of Kuichi. I'm all for Kuichi. your adventure. I don't know how, you I need don't to know take how risks that. when you're young. Because by the time you're my age, you couldn't attempt something like that even if you wanted to. Better try now than live with regrets later. That's what I say. Right. Still, I can understand where Kuichi's coming from. Kuichi. In the end, nobody wants to sit back and let a loved one put their life on the line. Alright, it's just the two of us now. You have one minute to explain <laughs> yourself. I don't have anything to say. You don't have to approve, but you should know I only do what's necessary. That attitude is exactly the problem. It's like you don't care. You try to sneak off to the Night Kingdom behind my back and then play it down as if it's just a trip abroad. Well, technically I am going abroad, right? Again with the excuses! <laughs> We agreed, didn't we? There are four levels of danger. If it's not something urgent, you can only engage in level two danger and below. You can only go up to level three if a situation is so dire, there's absolutely no alternative. Yeah, I think that was dire. A, a trip to the Night Kingdom? If that's not a level four, I don't know what is. And you were just going to sneak into the place without saying anything. Girl, don't scream. What do you mean, sneak into the place? I always planned on walking in there with my head held high. You bought off Uncle Wyna, didn't you? He promised me he'd stop you from doing anything dangerous. Oh, it's like he didn't even try. I don't think she bought him, but sure. I feel like he went back on his word. What if I told you my mind was made up and there was nothing he could have done? Not even by force. Oh, I knew it. So he did try to say something, but you didn't listen. This is important. If you were in my shoes, you'd make the same decision. You don't know that? I'm a doctor, and uh. I handle logistics. If you're going to waltz into a dangerous situation where you could lose control at any moment, it's my duty to say something. She's a doctor, but she's always screaming. All right, whatever. Anything else? <sighs> you... <sighs> what do you mean, anything else? Why don't you reflect on what you've done and promise me you'll stay put? Girl, you're not her mom. Time out. Is this one of our normal arguments or a serious one? <laughs> Chaska, does it sound like I'm joking? Then you need to know something. What happened to Kachina was partially my fault. I can't leave her there to die. That's not who I am. How so? But the person you become when you lose control, that's also not who you are. That's a different issue. When you she said it loses yourself. control. A person is only as good as their morals. If I want to live in that land, I need to display qualities that make me worthy of this nation. What does that mean? Lose control? I've also told you that managing your condition is equally important. Huh? What is what is Sometimes that you have to make sacrifices. <sighs> Alright, let's stop this here. If we keep going, I might actually have to get serious. And I think Wyna prefers his roof attached to his house. Girl, you don't have to threaten violence. Is that a threat? That sounds like a threat to me. It did sound like a threat, uh, yes. That's not nice. Koichi! Uh, younger sisters are supposed to listen to their elders. Uh, okay. So, you're really going to go, no matter what I say? I'm supposed to be your sister. Then support me. I'll be back. All you have to do is wait. Ugh. Chaska. So, that's it. Why'd you have to turn out to be so... darn... annoying? <laughs> she didn't need to try it in violence, uh, though. That's not very nice. You are something else. Something you wanted to say? Did not like that. I know you aren't related by blood. But you two sure are similar. Very hot-headed. Really? You know, I said that very thing to Kuichi not too long ago. And she reacted the exact same way, down to the very tone of voice. It's not my place to get involved. But I will say this. Try to spend a little more time with your sister. You're tough kids. That doesn't mean you have to go it alone. Thank you. Anytime. All right. If you're done with the spirit speaker stone, you might as well hand it over. According to Kinich, it's an important ceremonial artifact. 
so it'd be safer to keep it with me. About that, dude. Um, about that. Yep. <sighs> if only Tone Gift Bard was here, he could have repaired it just like the Holy Liar. It might be in a few more pieces than you remember. <laughs> uh huh? Explain the sequence of events to Wina. I see. Mm. Sounds like it was an urgent situation. If someone's life was on the line, then you had no choice. Yeah, it's still shitty, right, that it happened. Still, Seat Lolly's going to be a nightmare to deal with now that you've broken her <laughs> stuff. I'll explain everything to her later. All right. Stay safe out there in the Night Kingdom, okay? I'll wait here for your safe return. We going then. So what's the next step? Bring Kachina's ancient name to Mavuika. <laughs> this Mavuika is getting the ancient name. I don't think we can like fly there without like dying in the middle, so I'm just gonna teleport. Yeah, there's a Fatui here. Fatui? No, it's a as a guard. Never mind. My eyesight is not very good. Ah, uh, why are you looking at the statue alpaca? You. Oh, it's glitter. Or not. Bit of glitter. Oh, didn't get this. Cool, cool, cool. What was that? Is water? Here we go. Let's give her the name and hope that she We're can back. bring Kachina back. We found Kachina's ancient name too. What happened at this stadium? Capitano happened, and you missed it. Well, it's fairly complicated. Let me give you the condensed version. You learned from the Pyro Archon battle against the captain, as well as her sacrifice. The Fatui again? We can't go anywhere without them causing trouble. I mean, they kind of helped us in Fontaine. But what if the Fatui finds out you've lost your power? Won't they try to take advantage of the situation? Did she, like, fully lose her power? <laughs> That's why it has to be our little secret. No one else can know, or we're asking for trouble. Right, but it's not a very good thing to lose all of your power, right, girl? It's not very nice. Look, I wish I could offer you some sort of consolation, but... I won't lie to you. With multiple factions closing in, there's nothing comforting about the situation we're facing. Yeah. Still. All you need to do is focus on your goal. You can leave the complicated matters to me. Ooh, oh boy. I can also step in on the Pyro Archon's behalf. There's a limit to what I can accomplish, but I'll help you however I can. I love her, she's so cute. <laughs> There's no need to be so modest, Eon Sun. Your incredible strength has long been a well known fact. You're the pride of your tribe. Oh. Archon, I. I'm sorry about before. You have so much on your plate, so much that you have to worry about. But all I could do was focus on my own feelings. You have nothing to be sorry about. We all get overwhelmed by our emotions, myself included. Your reaction to Kachina's disappearance, I... I understand that feeling very well. Well, now that we have Kachina's ancient name, let's go track her down. Follow me. Ooh, boy. We going? Is there anybody listening yet? Or is it just... I'm, I'm paranoid. Okay, I'm paranoid. This is like her study. What is this place? Hey, isn't that Atea's talisman? Huh. <laughs> Good eye. This is where I store all the various mementos I've collected. So it's her office. Wow. I've never seen this place before. There's so many things in here. It looks like there are items from every tribe. 
collecting them must have taken a lot of effort. In time. I suppose you could think of it as a hobby of sorts. In Natlan, everyone grows up listening to the stories of heroes. And physical items do a far better job of preserving those stories than our own memory. <sighs> now, I still have some preparations to make for the ceremony. So feel free to take a look around in the meantime. Alrighty. If you're curious about an item, I'm more than willing to tell you about its origins. Alright, we'll have a look. Nice. Examine the mementos in the room. This is Atea's talisman. Yes. I'm sure you're familiar with this one already. Atea was rarely ever without it. The talisman brought her a lot of luck in battle. A jar. There are so many jars and potions around here. Do they have anything to do with alchemy? No. Those belong to the masters of the Nightwind. Their ceremonial tools used to amplify the ability to communicate with the Night Kingdom and the Wyab. Yamaya is an expert in this field, and she taught me a lot. Even though she appears stoic and serious, she actually has a keen sense of humor. I think we never met Yamaya. The tools you see here are quite traditional. Her students found them outdated, <laughs> so she passed them on to me. The contents of the jars aren't all that special. Oh, uh, except the big jar in the middle. That's what she really wanted to give me. What is inside it? Ooh, of it? must be something really cool. What's inside? Grape juice. Oh. Huh? It's probably like wine. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite tasty, although probably expired by now. Okay, interesting. Check this one out. Observe fishing equipment. Let's fish. Hey, there's a fishing rod here. It must have belonged to the people of the springs. Right. That's right. It belongs to a legendary fisherman named Matavaru. I have his entire set of fishing equipment, actually. Interesting. He and I met in a tavern. He told me about a particular kind of giant fish and his meticulous plan to catch it. In his eyes, I saw... A hunger and a strong fighting spirit. To him, the sea was the battlefield upon which he staked his honor. So, did he do it? The next time I saw him, he was covered in scars. Aww. It turned out the fish he sought had been corroded by the abyss. He managed to kill the fish, but sustained a serious injury in the process which meant he could never go deep sea fishing again yeah that's the risk of uh, like adventure like that right can a fisherman claim victory if he fails to bring back his catch that's what he asked me in the end well paimon thinks he won yeah he did that was my answer as well <laughs> the experience was far more valuable than the prize itself in the end, he didn't want his tools to go to waste, so he gave them to me. Wait, that means you also know how to fish. <laughs> Maybe we can go head to head sometime. Hell no, girl. It's been so long since I fished and I don't want to try it again. Thank you very much. Belt. Whoa, that belt is bigger than Paimon's head! Uh, um, okay, that's not difficult. The Collective of Plenty are known for their bodybuilding competitions and contests of strength. Oh! This belt is a symbol of great honor within the tribe. Are we gonna get a character that is a bodybuilder eventually? The association <laughs> with strength might also have been the reason the original belt was extremely heavy. It was difficult for even two people to lift. And even if a warrior had the strength to put it on, Wearing it for any length of time would still leave them gasping for breath. More of a commemorative thing. Sounds like it. So the owner of the original belt, Katera, commissioned a craftsman to make a copy identical in appearance but far lighter in weight. That is the belt you see before you. 
He would often wear this version when training in order to protect his waist. Hmm. Or he made a lighter version so he could wear it all the time <laughs> to show it off. That is also a possibility. Have we saw have we seen all of it? I guess we have. Well, that's pretty. The powder still needs some time to settle. So let's wait a little longer. Well, what do you think of my collection? Do you feel like you have a better understanding of Natland's culture now? Just a little bit? Yeah! If each item represents a different story, seems like Natland's really been through a lot. Does every item hold a special memory, just like Atea's talisman? That's right. The items in my collection actually serve a similar purpose to the ancient names passed down among the tribes. They demonstrate the true shape of time. Interesting. The shape of time? Most people perceive time as a linear concept, almost like a straight line that can only move forward. We cannot change the past or predict the future. I mean, we can kinda. There's like the witches. But there's also a different theory, one that I believe to be closer to the truth. Namely, that the past, present, and future all exist at once. That would make sense with everything that is happening in Teva. In Teva, especially with like the lee lines and at stuff. Once? Paimon's not sure she understands. Uh, let's say your journey ended right now. Thinking back on your experience in each nation, which one would you say was the most important? I'd have to say all of them. Exactly. Even at the end of your journey, the things you experienced along the way don't cease to exist. They become part of who you are. Mm. Take out a portion of that journey, and you would likely make very different decisions. That is and true. eventually arrive at a very different destination. But maybe sometimes that would have been better, The right? future is the same way. It exists even though it has yet to come to pass. We just lack the means to perceive it. Of course, there are those with the power to foresee the future. They simply call it by a different name. Fate. You're quite familiar with that concept, I would imagine. Uh, that does kind of make sense. <laughs> the future hasn't happened, but already exists. Right. Humanity excels at living in the present, but too often we forget the past and neglect the future. So ancient names record the past. While the pilgrimage and the night warden wars lead us to a better future. Only by uniting the people of Natlan across countless eras can we fight back against an enemy as formidable as the Abyss. To come up with such a set of rules, the first Pyro Archon must have possessed a level of insight I can only imagine. So the first Pyro Archon created the rules of Natlan. That's correct. At first, he was a mortal man with no special power. Huh. After he ascended to the Divine Throne, he used it to borrow power from the heavens and establish the rules of Natlan. Namely, a framework through which ordinary people can ascend to Archonhood. So that's what has been happening with Natlan since then? By holding the pilgrimage, we're able to determine the strongest among us. And when that person ascends to the Divine Throne, their inner flame will awaken. In addition, the Sacred Flame will grant them significant knowledge and memory of this land. After all, that's how I came to know everything I just told you. Interesting. So, it all comes down to the power of the Divine Throne and the rules. Wait, is that a family portrait? Hmm. <laughs> yes. Oh! That's my mother, father, younger sister, and the little Saurians we raised. Oh, that's cute! I think this is the first time we see, like, the family of the Archons, right? Like, not counting Raiden, because we actually don't see her sister. But we hear about her. I turned a piece of my dad's leather armor into a canvas and commissioned a famous artist to paint our likeness. That's nice. Your sister is so cute! It looks like the two of you are really close. Is her family still alive? I was having a hard time thinking of an Archon as an ordinary person, but seeing this portrait, it kind of makes sense now. It really doesn't look like there was anything special about you before. <laughs> oh, wait, is Paimon allowed to say that? Girl, that's rude. A little late for that question, don't you think? Yep. She just speaks. She does not think. Sorry. Paimon's so sorry. Paimon's mouth works faster than her brain sometimes. That's true. <laughs> it's alright. 
I'd never get upset over something like that. No matter what others may say, my past is a precious part of my identity. I'm forever proud of the life I used to lead. Becoming the Archon doesn't mean you sever ties with your family. The position just comes with a lot of responsibilities, so it impacts how often you get to see them. My father made the most delicious stew, so my sister would often bring me a large pot of his cooking, and he would sit on a blanket and eat it together. One time, we didn't close the door securely, and the Saurians you were raising ran into the room and oh, knocked no. over the entire pot. My sister immediately burst into tears. The two troublemakers were going for the meat, but when they saw my sister's distress, they froze on the spot. They are very I still cute. remember the way they laid there, sulking like a pair of children, even after making such a mess. It was frustrating, but in the end, all I could do was comfort my sister and move on. Wow. You forgave them just like that? I mean, they're Saurians. Isn't that what being a family is all about? Why would you hold a grudge against a Saurian? I think about that story a lot, actually. As the Archon, I made a vow to defend this nation. And experiences like that, they remind me exactly what I'm trying to protect. That's nice. Well, what happened after that? This portrait looks pretty old. Your sister must be all grown up by now, right? I believe she ended up working as an architect and artist. Ooh. She built many houses and crafted many beautiful works of art. Anyway, that's enough about me. Now that the powder is settled, we can begin. Iansan, Mulani, Chaska, over here, please. Is she, is she not going to say if they are all okay? Place the ancient name up there, and then we'll begin. Time to get Kachina back! Ooh, place Kachina's ancient name. Here we go. <clears throat> Surely as the echoes of life resound through heaven and earth, so too shall our stories remain eternal. Ancient name, take us to your fated bearer. Allow her to answer our call. Is she gonna come back? Oh, Kachina. But it's not like the real Kachina. Am I hallucinating again? Kachina, are you okay? Huh? I, I'm not seeing things, am I? Is is the abyss playing tricks on me again? No, girl, it's us. We came to rescue it's you. It's okay, Kachina. It's just us. We're trying to find a way to bring you back. Everyone, you have to listen to me. What? What is happening, Kachina? I've been investigating the Night Kingdom this entire time, and I figured out what's wrong. The Wyab is being affected by the abyss. I was waiting for the Wyab to send me back, but then this really strong monster came in and almost killed me. The Wyab saved me, even though its power is weakening. So I've been hiding from the monsters while trying to find a way to help. The Night Kingdom has become a huge mess, though. I keep hearing these awful sounds and seeing really horrible things. Oh no, Kachina. Don't listen to those sounds, Kachina. The Abyss is trying to strip you of your sanity. Yeah. All you need to do is stay safe and wait for us. We'll be there shortly. It's okay. I feel so much better now that I've had the chance to talk to you guys. You don't need to worry about me. No, we're gonna bring you back. I've never been strong or special at all. Girl! So I don't blame anyone for forgetting about me or leaving me behind. Don't do that. Just knowing you care is more than enough. I'll find a way back. You don't have to put yourselves in danger to come rescue me. Well, Lenny's not gonna let that happen. You're always like this, Kachina. Now's not the time to act tough. We're coming for you, and that's final. Hell yeah, Molani. I don't know what lies the Abyss has been feeding you, but I'll tell you something right now. Nobody here sees you as a burden. You're a victor of the Night Warden Wars, a hero of Natlan. All you need to do is wait for us to rescue you, and you'll get all the applause and recognition you deserve. <laughs> oh, poor Kachina. Because of me, I don't want to hold anyone back ever again. 
All you need to do is place your trust in us. Just like you always have. Right. No one fights alone. We're not leaving you behind. Not ever. Yeah, we're so close. We can't call it quits now. We're gonna help her. Oh no. We're losing connection. Looks like we've lost contact. Now comes the most dangerous part. You have to traverse the Night Kingdom in your physical form. Oh boy. This entrance to the Night Kingdom was left behind after an abyssal invasion. Even a brief amount of time inside could expose you to corrosion. I know. I'm prepared for that possibility. Well, I need not. All right. Then I wish you all the best. I'll tell Koichi to be ready just in case. She's very experienced in dealing with abyssal corruption. Oh, Chasuke is going to catch some hands. That face you just made. Don't tell me you two got into another argument. Well, they did. No, I just feel bad for creating more work for her. I'll go with them too, Archon. The more people, the stronger the party. Thank you so much for your help, everyone. It really means a lot that you're willing to brave these dangers with me. And there's no time to lose, so let's get going. Let's go. Now that I've lost my power, I won't be able to provide much practical support. But I can still keep an eye on the situation from here. Eonsan, I know it's unlikely, but if you encounter a situation you can't handle, that won't happen. Tell her. I hope not. Oh, God. But we are going to do that next time because oof, it's going to be insane. I cannot wait to go rescue Kachina. But yeah, this was crazy. This was a crazy start for Act 2, honestly. I think Natlin has been full of surprises and like action packed. The cutscenes, really high bu budget, I must say. But yeah, I really like Ma uh, Mavuika's, the part Archon's personality so far. I think like she's very sweet and very determined and like very worried about her people. So it's kind of like a, uh, a very good change from the other Archons. You know, like even though like the other Archons, they do care about their people. They have like a more, you know, like godly sense to them. But because she was... But I... Excuse me, Nuvilet, I'm speaking. Because she has a little bit more uh, of knowledge of how being a normal person is. She gets to, like, understand, you know, like... Uh, and we get to understand her better. But yeah, I... I like splitting the episodes in two because it's usually like three hours. The, uh, the Arkham quests are usually three hours. So I like splitting it in two. Uh, more for convenience because like I had comments asking me like to do the Arkham Quest fully or doing one video but for me it's very difficult to just like edit like a three hour video it takes a lot of time you have to like watch everything back to see if everything was fine you know so I prefer to split it into two and it also allows me to put more videos out for you guys and you know like organize myself better <laughs> so I hope that you know you guys like it but if you really want like act three I can try to do there are leaves around oh god and I know just the two they never stop yapping but yeah, if you guys want Act 3, I can try to do in one go. If it's not four hours long, of course. But that's just how usually I have been doing um, Genshin Impact since the beginning. I have been splitting the episodes in shorter parts. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. All the good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.